What is up the world of the living? My name is Vlad and welcome back to Truly Bedrock. My friends, you got me midway into putting up some rolled up sails on uh, Mara the ship. And yep, 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 the sh uh, kind of putting up rolled up sails is a little bit of a cop out, I know. But still though, still though, last episode we established the blast mines, so this is why I'm wearing some netherite blast pants and of course some blast boots made out of netherite. Uh, this episode I was thinking we could probably already start on actually building what we came here to build. Because yep, my primary base is here in the nether and uh, so far it's looking quite unimpressive, doesn't it? I am currently in the process. Well, I say looking quite unimpressive. Mara is a permanent attachment to the base. Oh, whoop, that, that was uh, unfortunate. Yeah, Mara is a permanent attachment to the base and she's looking better than ever with her uh, little rolled up uh, sails. And yes, yeah, she would look even better with the sails not rolled up. But let's face it, she's actually here to stay. So having, you know, the sails not rolled up will be kind of counter counterproductive because then it will she will instantly depart right into that flipping cliff <laughs> yeah let's not do that let's instead uh maybe actually build an anchor going all the way down to where it's supposed to go because that's like one thing i entirely forgot to do is drop down an anchor oh wow that looks entirely too flimsy um yeah Let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. A nice wooden rope. Good old spruce rope. No, but seriously, it is not accidental that we start today's episode with putting up some sails and with swimming in some lava. Because, well, I was thinking about actually continuing my, my main project and while building up the base mostly for now consists of, you know, slabbing out the areas for me to build in in the future, that doesn't necessarily make for great entertainment. So I will spare you the details and I'll put on, put on the details on some live stream during a Q&A or something. Instead, today, we'll focus on something I also wanted to build in this vicinity. You see, I never actually told you what this base is supposed to be. And I'm quite excited to do that. So uh, allow me, ahem, ahem. My friends, remember how I said in the last episode that we will be bringing a boatload of materials back home. Well, this boat is not the boat that will be loading. <laughs> oh no, my friends. This area here is not just some pirate docks. This, in the future at the very least, will be an entire shipyard. We will be creating a brand new nether forged ship to go back into the overworld, bring in a bunch of materials and potentially also be a war vessel that will establish me as the indefinite ruler of, you know, the entire community area. I mean, it's not necessarily a very important thing that I want to do, but it would be really, really cool to just roll up point every single cannon on a ship at the local residents and be like, you shall address me as Prince of Doom and nothing else. And what better way to start working on our new shipyard area than, of course, from the bottom. After all, we do start at the bottom and now we're here. So, here's the point that I'm trying to make. I am loaded up with fire resistance potions that I bought from Datcraft a couple of episodes ago. So, now I want to put that uh, fire resist to the good use and try and lava dive and build up kind of the lore of this area. You see, it's not just a pirate shipyard, it's supposed to be, in my, in my idea, the coast black rock cliffs of the nether so wouldn't it be cool if uh, on the beach down there on the approach especially seeing how i usually fly into the base like i usually arrive onto the base from this particular angle imagine as we fly in we see several masts of the ruined ships on the shipwrecks pop up into in the lava on top of everything, that actually will provide me with some, you know, 
<laughs> safeguards to aim at when I'm falling into the lava ocean underneath my building area. So that's something to look forward to. That would probably be really, really smart of me to create. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even think I will need any materials from the overworld to do that. Yeah, look at that. We're just gonna go plop those down and see how, what, how that looks. Spoiler alert, I kinda already know how that looks, it looks amazing. And hey, while I'm here figuring out how to make uh, convincing sails out of giant blocky stuff, look what we have now in the update. I entirely forgot about this feature that I've been entirely super excited for after uh, it was announced. The walls now connect in an absolutely different way. They're now flatter, they're now smoother and they are now pretty freaking usable. These are essentially one of the ways of doing micro blocks without doing modded Minecraft. And I'm quite honestly for it. I believe this is a very creative way of implementing the kind of micro blockish functionality without straight up making the game too convoluted or too complicated. I really like how you can add some depth into your builds with this particular uh, color material. Yeah. Ma material color, color material. This feature is good. I was trying to say that this feature is good. I think I conveyed that. Thank you very much. Okay, I started working on it and here's what it looks like flying in. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this is already looking pretty flipping sweet. The render distance in the nether seems a little bit shorter. So, or at the very least, the fog kicks in faster, so it doesn't necessarily look that nice. But still, though, still, though, there is something very charming about it, and that's just the beginning. And I even can tell you exactly how much time this, this took me 16 minutes. I know it because I drank two fire resist potions <laughs> and uh, I don't actually know if I have any more. So uh, yeah, that's a problem. Another problem is gonna be that, uh, yeah, spawns. <laughs> Something tells me I'll have to spawn proof these tiny bit later into the series <laughs> when I'll try to get myself some sort of a, I don't know, gold farm or some crap like that. Oh, hey, we got a ghost head. <laughs> Look at that. It's a tiny ghost. It's an entire ghast in just below one block. <laughs> Ooh, who's a tiny ghast? Who's a tiny ghast? No, get, get onto the... And then with this and this and look! It's floating! <laughs> uh, I'm so easily amused. Let's go build some more sad ships being wrecked and burned in the lava. Well, uh, you will never believe what happened. <laughs> he says showing everyone his entirely empty inventory. We lost all of our netherite gear, everyone. Except, you know, for like a flipping entire shulker box of uh, netherite pickaxes. But, you know, let's let's pretend that that didn't happen. Feel sympathy for me! No, really, though. Please do, because apparently, apparently, and this is like just gonna be a little lesson to you, well, like from me to you. Um, apparently, magma creams they really, really like being magma cubes. Really, really like being under the lava, where you can't see them, <laughs> even with the fire resist uh, effect. As a result, as a result, they are basically silent, invisible killers from down there. So. I was just swimming around, walking on this little mast, and suddenly I feel attacked from by something. I have no idea why. I have no idea what. And yeah, it turns out it was a magma, magma cube just from down below. But on top of that, none of my uh, materials, none of my materials survived because they died, and none of my netherite stuff survived either because I'm pretty sure as soon as all of my stuff popped out of my corpse. A gust fireball landed and blew it up. Piglins, please let me use my stupid vessel. Please, guys. Please. Hey, look, they, they went away. Thank God. So it honestly does not feel like that big of a deal to me. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna continue with the episode for now. You know, until I have another mental breakdown or something uh, much, much less major because that's just how my brain works let me see do i ha still have 
Yep, I still have plenty of spruce and dark oak. Uh, just gotta check on that wool supply because that really is the bottleneck of this. Project commences! Oh, shish, I'll have to grind for another set of netherite gear, aren't I? And yeah, just so this does never happen to you, lava and water in Minecraft Bedrock are very different in a lot of ways, you know, but they are primi primarily different uh, from each other because you can still suffocate and do lava, but you can also take off from its surface. Heck, I'm pretty sure you can take off, like, from underneath it. So, this is something I did not know, but I only experimented with after the incident. <sighs> But now I do know, and no one is half the battle, so a uh, hint from me to you. If you are swimming in a lava lake and feel attacked by something from underneath it, just a leech far away, just zip zap zoop away. Or just use striders, you know, striders are a thing. Actually, I'm gonna check if I have a saddle somewhere in there. So, in lieu of any actually good materials, I'm over here with like... Black stone crafted stone tools. <laughs> Can we just pretend that these are netherite? They kind of do look like one. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the mental breakdown I promised. Yep, there, there it is. The striders are so flipping confused. <laughs> They're like looking around like, are you sure about this? Like, wh what's all of this then? <laughs> and yep, it, it is looking really sweet though. It really does. Like, look at that in the distance. You're not looking at it. Look at, look, that guy's definitely, that guy's looking at that raft with that one piglin on it. No, yeah. Look at this one. That particular one is actually, like, uh, my favorite one out of the bunch. Please fly, thank you. <laughs> uh, because it has one of the biggest masts, implying that it's, it's a bigger ship. But it's all entirely under the lava and there is some basalt sticking through it. Meaning that it kind of got dropped onto the uh, basalt little, you know, thingy. Then I'm also walking right now on one pretty unique one as well. I don't like the way the mast is on this one. I don't think uh, the bendy bit, and especially making one half bendy and the other not, was a good idea. But with this one I actually have a pretty good idea for the hull of the ship sticking out of the lava. And the thing about the hull in this particular situation is that I am kind of making it so that, like, that part is the nose, right, of whatever ship it was. That there was also the nose, that there was a poop deck, but this here is like the middle part of it. And only the middle part remained afloat, slowly sinking into the lava ocean. And the middle part is like, it's all deteriorated, and the... Uh, the what you call it? I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember her. Basically, the hull of the ship has been made obsolete and like was slowly deteriorating ever since it crashed. So by now, there's only the basic support pillars of the ship sticking out like a rib cage, with the remains of the hull of the ship of the bridge still on it just here and there in little hints uh kind of like hanging almost like meat on bones in this disgusting kind of almost gory way but it's not really gory because again it's a ship it's not you know an actual animal or or actual intestines yeah look at this i mean you can probably see where i'm coming from you can probably see what i'm talking about um and I will need to create like a second mirrored version of this just to ensure because that's what kind of makes us recognize something as a rib cage. It's when the structure is symmetrical. So yeah, I am having fun here. I ain't got any... Oh, wait. Huh. I could have sworn I, ha I didn't have any fire resist. Oh, well. Let's keep it on my hotbar because really what I've come to realize is uh, I don't really need that much fire resist potion. I only need my fire resist. When I am going to basically place one or two blocks just to sink the structure into the sea a tiny bit. Other than that, everything else can be done just uh, by being careful and not uh, getting bombarded by gusts too much. Yeah, that's a little bit of a key ingredient. 
Okay, one more flyby just to see the effect of them coming from the dark, bloody fog of the nether. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven. Wow, that's a lot of ships to be crushed on this flat sea with no terrain on it. Oh yeah, wait, gas exists, of course. <laughs> Of course there would be a bunch of, you know, crushed flying ships up, up here. Ghasts exist and also are incredibly vicious. And also I myself keep dying over here, so I don't know why I'm so judgmental about this situation. I am honestly quite happy with it. It does look like a little ship cemetery. I mean, it does help that, uh, you know, the uh, masts resemble a cross anyway. So you get, you get hit with this wave of cemeteries. Uh, cemetery atmosphere, but also look at that. It's all is really really handy and really really cool I do think that we got something really cool over here Though of course this could you know as any project in Minecraft this could use several live streams being thrown at it So like, please just fly carefully don't crash into anything. I don't want to lose even my stone tools on top of everything Speaking of, I was hoping that this day would not come. But unfortunately, apparently this is where we are as a society. I'm making another netherite diamond hole. Not netherite diamond hole, just netherite hole. Because I have another idea as to what to do with the terrain. And I apologize for that. But I have another idea as to what to do with the terrain for this. And uh, the idea requires me to have... A tool that easily harvests uh, glow shrooms or mooglows, mu whatever these lag blocks are, and also nether wart blocks. Actually, we're mostly looking for nether wart blocks. So, the idea itself is um, I don't know, it's kind of bizarre. I basically want a crimson ditch to be down there. I want to try terraforming the terrain around the lava as to be much more red than it already is. And I don't know why, like magma does already look pretty natural down there, but I don't want to go for natural. I want to go for basically a fantasy coast land. Like this is a, some sort of a coast haven that uh, the ships are attempting to swim towards and constantly are crushing against the ghasts. But naturally, of course, it's uh, it's not cursed at all, it's just ghasts that are spawning everywhere. But then, also, for whatever reason, the shore is all red and looks bloody and you're like, uh, that shouldn't be there. But, you know, it is. And you can't explain why. And that's why it's really, really cool. And I was also going down for firework rockets. So somewhere along the development of just Minecraft Nether, they just took a look at it and went... Do you know what this biome needs? Not biome, but you know, this dimension needs. More blocks that look like viscera. And, I mean, I don't blame them. I actually am very grateful that they went there. But also, like, I kind of question the game, <laughs> the game design of it. <laughs> no, seriously, though, look. Uh, in this update, we got this uh, Crimson Nilum, which is basically just regular old netherrack with some, with a thin layer of just what around it but then also we got the wood which you can clearly tell when you look at it is pulsating with some bizarre red blood streams question mark i don't know what this this is supposed to be now okay real life wood actually does have some uh you know pulsating stuff through it it's not necessarily a bloodstream, but it's like uh, something. That, it's it's a tree equivalent of a bloodstream, so it's fine. But don't, then also we just straight, have straight up blood puddles with the nether wart. Basically, one way or another, though, this is just me rambling. This is, this here is the before. This there is after, and I am loving it. But we will need like a lot more, like a lot more of this delicious material. Luckily, it spawns in plentiful amount, so I won't even have to farm it with the, with the mushrooms. I can just go into the local place. 
I was planning on clearing out one of these forests anyway. Also, I should probably hunt some hoglins while I'm at it, because my ch cooked chicken supply is rapidly being drained. Uh, and you know what? Without the efficiency enchant, this is actually uh, quite slow. I wonder if we can speed it up. <laughs> uh, Boopty! Ow! Oh yeah, I don't have my blood protection on me anymore. Yeah, I don't think this is the way to go. I don't think this is the way to go. And let's see, as a result, left side of the ship. Oh, look at that. What a nice graveyard. And the right side of the ship. Oh, look at that. What a, what a delicious, honestly, what a delicious red color. The nether ward blocks, even when they first came out, when no one knew what to use them for, when no one cared about them, I actually really, really liked them and I made an entire biome like with uh, nether ward trees and everything. So I kind of predicted, you know, at least one feature. And then I arguably also predicted the piglin brutes, but you know, let's not split hairs and all that. Anyway, anyway, down here I installed one of my brand skull, desi skull designs. So this is, these are supposed to be basically a little taste of the uh, Soul Sand Valley also. Um, along with the, you know, Crimson Forest. So we have some, you know, just random bones, teeth skulls kind of washed up from the lava below now um exactly how does something wash up from lava is a good question because i'm pretty sure lava is hot enough for anything to just melt in it even bones they will instantly just char but you know let's make pretend it's uh, magic logic the the lava is not even lava according to you know some very questionable Minecraft theories. So I think that's good enough. That's uh, looking convincing enough. Let's take another swoop. Because really it's what it's all about. This is how I come in into my new base. This is what I see every day. I swoop in from the nether half, which is that direction. And I just go, Wee! Ooh, look at that. Look how ominous this is. Yeah, I am loving this. And hey, the Crimson Beach is a pretty good thing, pretty uh, convincing convincing mini biome that we assembled, at least I believe so. Now there are a couple of more ideas that we could potentially implement. For one, I could texturize this with like uh, red concrete, because red concrete powder does actually mix well with the reds from the nether. We could um, texturize it with uh, red uh, wool, because it also is very very bright, it pops really really nicely. And we could continue spreading this, which I think I will. Like, two things that I will continue doing is, one is spreading the shroom lights on to over the top of the cliff to support, onto the support pillars, onto the uh, platform itself. Two, I will continue spreading the red itself, just to create an even nicer look. And uh, I'm gonna come up with additional three, and that is, I will continue spreading the slabbing. Because you can already tell, this is already kind of helping with the spawns. We don't see too many magma cubes, and the ones I am still encountering on this platform generally come from up there and sideways, rather than anywhere else. Now, this area in here also needs uh, a, little bit, a little bit of spawn proofing, and uh, that will be easy enough also. I just... Hey, look, see. I got, I got a magma head. That is also pretty cute. Right. Anyway... Uh, the area down there also needs a little bit of spawn profit. I will figure it out. It's gonna be fine. It just needs work is all. And you know what's incredibly hard to do when you ain't got the top gear in the game? That's right. Any amount of work <laughs> is incredibly hard to do when your gear is just random diamond trash. Uh, but hey, recently Lara and I actually um, got a fire protection for villager so at the very least i won't be dying in lava as much hopefully hope hopefully anyway that's gonna be it for today so thank you everybody so much for watching this has been slow xp this has been truly bedrock to be continued have a good one bye bye